Hello fam, peace and love. My name is Jasmine Robbins. I'm the co-founder of Infinite H Co. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am glad you're here. Comment down below how you found me. <laughs> um, and thank you for being here. I'm really excited to just share the information that I have so that we can better ourselves as a whole, as a community. And I'm talking about black health. All health is important, but I mean, statistics and studies show that most medical students think that black people don't feel pain as bad as other races. And I mean, <laughs> you want to put it a certain way, like doctors are to black women, like police are to black men. And you know, something's got to change. So I want to share my information so that we can take our health into our own hands and that we don't have to depend on a system that's not designed for us. So, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, watch it till the end. I know sometimes it gets a little windy, um, but I just always have a lot to say. I try to keep it really short, but bear with me. Stick to the end, and I promise you'll like what you're gonna have to hear. So, today I wanna share with you my experience with inflammation. And I've been struggling with inflammation since I was a small kid, since I was like nine, 10 years old. Um, and that's something that kids shouldn't have to go through, but sometimes we go through things and that's just what happens. So my experience with inflammation, first of all, fam, I want to tell you that all the time, I tell you all the time how much my life has changed from using CMOS, but I never got down into the details with you and really shared some of my pain because who wants to hear about stuff like that? I mean, I most likely wouldn't because it would make me sad. It would, it would make me sad, but at the end of the day, I really want you to understand me a little bit better. So you know, like I've walked this journey the same way that you're on. I've been there and I'm young. So Osgood Slaughter's disease. Osgood Slaughter's disease is inflammation of the patellar ligament at the tibial tuberosity. It is characterized by a painful bump right there, just below the knee that is worse with activity and better with rest. It's hard for a kid, by the way. Um, what causes it? Osgood Slaughter's disease is caused by irritation of the bone growth plate. Bones do not grow in the middle but at the ends near the joint in an area called the growth plate. While a child is still growing, these areas of growth are made of cartilage instead of bone. If it's a growing disorder, which it is, and I'm done growing, then why am I still in pain? I wonder this. But in fact, about 10% of patients with Osgood Slaughter disease continue to experience some symptoms into adulthood. That was me, part of the 10%, like what are the odds? Um, it can also get this disease if you participate in repetitive physical activities and sports, including basketball, volleyball, figure skating, high impact sports. So what is the lump? I showed you guys my little lumps. The point of attachment of the patellar tendon to the shin bone is the bony bump that you see on my knees just below the knee, right here. So how am I better? Because I am, I run, I work out, you guys see this? CMOS contains potassium chloride, which helps the body reduce inflammation and people take it to lower their risk of infections because of the positive impact on the immune system. Fatty acids found in CMOS are excellent anti-inflammatory agents and it saved me okay CMOS also contains burdock root and bladderwrack and my goodness you see <laughs> burdock root is a powerhouse of antioxidants they can help treat and prevent a number of different health issues the antioxidant action helps reduce inflammation <laughs> One 2014 study found that burdock root reduces inflammatory markers in the blood for patients with osteoarthritis, okay? And bladder rack. Guys, all three of these in CMOS Advanced 
anti-inflammatory properties. Anti-inflammatory effects, some, okay, so in bladder rack, some test tube studies on rats have shown that brown algae like bladder rack offer promising anti-inflammatory properties and may help reduce tumor growth, lower blood sugar levels, and the risk of heart disease. So fam, let me tell y'all all the time, how things have changed with CMOS in my life. And now you know just a little bit more because I have Osgood Slaughter's disease. And I can share so much more, but I felt like this wasn't too much information to share, if that makes sense. Although it's something very personal and it has honestly always been an insecurity for me, I'm sharing it with you because I have to stay very transparent with you and hopefully letting you in a little bit more will give you the courage to share your story or even start on a journey for natural health because sometimes it's really hard because there's some things that we can't change. I manage my inflammation. I'm pointing down because it's, it's in my knees. Obviously, you see this lump right here. You see it on my other knee. Before I knew I had Osgood Slaughter's disease, I would describe it and nobody believed me. Nobody believed me, but I would describe it. And how would you not believe me when there's like these lumps on my knees? That's not normal. But I would describe it as this ball of pain. To this day, I still don't know how to properly bend on learning. Um, because I learned how to move around this issue. So I'm trying to correct that behavior, which is hard because from like nine, 10 years old, I had to, instead of bending my knees to get down, I would bend at the waist to pick something up or to bend down to tie my shoe or something like that, you know? Um, it made a lot of things really difficult, but guess what? I'm okay. I don't have like these these bad days with really bad inflammation where it's hard to bend my knees. Lord forbid, before I started using CMOS, I would bump my knee on anything. Bump it against a chair or on the corner of my bed because we all be doing that, okay? And it would send me into excruciating pain, pain that would cause tears to fall down my face, but there's nothing you can do about that. Yes, there is. There are answers to everything from natural sources. Because guess what? I've been going to the doctor for osteoarthritis disease, or I had been, since I was like nine, 10 years old, until I just gave up around like 15, and I was just like, this is what it is. This is just what it is, or 13, 14, 15, around that area, like beginning of high school, end of middle school so we have answers we have resources fam we do um, I just wanted to share with you like a personal struggle of mine so that you know this really has changed my life I know some people I see some comments that are not like the friendliest and that's okay I always tell people it's good to be skeptical like that's just a part of life be, be a skeptic what I will say is if you're skeptical, you still need to be nice to others because you have no right to be rude to people you do not know for no reason whatsoever. But it doesn't bother me. It's okay if you're skeptic. I just would hate for you to be mean to people. We are all about peace and love here. We're all about peace and love and natural and holistic living. That's my Facebook group. I'll link it below. All my platforms, only peace and love is welcome. What I mean is I'm here for you. If you have questions, comment them down below. I will answer them. Join my Facebook group, Natural and Holistic Living. <laughs> you can, I have you. You'd have better access to me there. Um, I also have my Instagram, Jasmine underscore Robbins. <laughs> so you can follow me there. And fam, I'm here for you. I've been on this journey. No one could help me on mine, but I'm here to help you on yours. And that is a promise. Peace and love. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Peace and love.